We're on to the second week in this year's college championship, and things are off to a very good start. Welcome to the Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. Alex made a big deal about that wild card situation at the beginning of tonight's show, but unfortunately, the producers decided to put three winners in our first semifinal, including the two players I'd consider the top two seeds, Nikki and Gus. And of course, they happen to play for rival schools, Berkeley and Stanford. I don't know. I would have let them try to play in the finals, but that's why I'm not working for Jeopardy, I guess, that and anyone I'm friends with would never be able to play again, so we'll worry about that if the time ever comes. Nikki uh, looked pretty rocky there in the first round. She was playing with the flu, so that's totally understandable. But she roared back in the second round. Two daily doubles. Neither time she had the opportunity to take advantage of them. It's a bummer. Emily took pretty good advantage of her daily double. I was hoping she'd go for everything. Left 1,200 on the table. Right now she's in Stratton's Dilemma. With an extra 1,200, she had 13.6. She'd be in a much better position against both Nikki and Gus. Although I don't think it would matter too much because they're so bunched up together. This is either going to be Nikki's game or Gus's game, and I think Emily's going to have to get pretty lucky to, uh, to win this one. Well, I guess if she gets it right and Nikki gets it wrong, and she goes for everything as she should. Uh, this going to be 10,000. That's 24.8, so... The 4,800 uh, minus 24 minus 24 is 76. At most out of Emily and 66. At most out of Gus. Uh, Gus doubles up again at 22.8. That's you know, more than Emily can safely wager, so... Uh, sorry, 12-4. She's got to go all in. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we could... I'm not going to do that, but yeah, I'll put it just because I do it every time. 8,000 to cover Gus. I see no reason to do that, because Emily's going to go for broke if she plays right. Now, what happens if we start playing mind games? Uh, <clears throat> 7,600 for Emily. Risky for Nikki. Uh, 7,600 would put Emily at 20,000. Nikki would have to wager 5,200. If she's wrong, she'd be down to 9,600. I'm not too concerned about this one. Uh, 1,800 and 2,800 here. I don't know if I'm going to play too many mind games as Emily. I guess Emily could go for 5,600 to cover this wager out of Gus. And then Gus would want to cap his at 4,600. So now we're getting a uh, little meta here. Now I'll go for the zero wagers, which might come into play. We'll see. 1,000. Let's start here. 2,400 separating these two. Downside, I guess. Nikki's a good player, though. She's not going to make this play to force the other two to get it right. Uh, Emily to cover is going to have to go at least 2,400. And then 4,800. That doesn't come into play. 1,000 there. 1,000 here. And at least 2,000 to cover that, but I don't think that's going to be a problem either. Uh, so, what does everybody do here? Nikki goes for the lockout. I hope Emily goes for everything. I wouldn't be surprised to see a 10 4 one out of her, though. She seems to like to leave some in the bank. Uh, Gus. <laughs> I think Gus is going to wager 4,000. Just because he... He did so on his daily double, and I think that'd be hilarious. All right, royalty. I have no idea what this is gonna be about. My guess is gonna be some sort of current royalty issue. So, um, thinking maybe, well, Queen Mother might be a response. Um, is it gonna be about British royalty? Queen Mother, and then you got Charlotte, you've got George. So Harry's now fifth in line. I don't think that's gonna be a, a big deal, and they won't ask about any obscure ones, I don't. Think in a college championship. So let us see what we're doing here. Obviously, it's not about America. The category for final is royalty. Here is the clue for you. In 1604, for a special project, he approved a list of scholars to work uh, at Westminster, Cambridge, and Oxford. 30 seconds. Go for it. That's 
too easy from two different directions. I think Nikki's already done writing hers down. I mean, yeah, who was king in 1604 and what would this special project be to have scholars at places that have schools like, what was it, Christ Church or Christ Hall or whatever it is at Cambridge or Oxford? I always get confused, but All right, I think Nikki's got this one. Gus, very close game. You were at 1,400. You took your time. Were you able to write anything Oof, down? Wait. Charles II is not going to help you, unfortunately. And that'll cost yeah. you 1,100. Yeah, okay, 10,399 for you. As we go to your left, to Emily's son. Wrote something down quickly, then erased it. She wrote down William the Conqueror, crossed that off, and put down James the First. James the First, who commissioned... King James Version of the Bible. You are right, and you will add. Uh, oh, nice. There you go. 400, taking you up to 24, right eight, taking us to Nikki Peters. She had 14, oh, eight. She We're good. looking for King James. We got King James. We're looking for a big wager of 10,000 or more. Nice. And we have 10,000. <laughs> Oof. With the Julia Collins hundo on top. Nice boots, Nikki. You can save over 500. That's a new one. I haven't seen them uh, call the finalists out until the third game before, unless I haven't been paying attention. Uh, but yeah, Nikki, you know, speaking of Julie Collins, she was sick during her TOC and she made the finals. So Nikki is also there, and I think she's still the favorite to win. Uh, very, very excellent game by Guy and I mean, Gus and Emily. Sorry, I had to throw that in. That was just kind of embarrassing. But, uh, you know, it's there's no more wild cards, so only one of them can go through. And uh, as Alex said, whoever made the finals definitely earned it. Congrats, Nikki. We'll see you on Thursday, and we'll see another semifinal tomorrow, at which time I hope you'll join me right here on the final wager.